buddy. See, we're at the Petco. And now I'm like, I'm feeling like I'm being a little personal with you guys. But, you know, sometimes that happens. And let's be real. I want to share with you guys my experiences with mental illness. And that also involves being real about things. morning internet friends or rather it's afternoon it's like one or something but anyway how are you doing i'm doing pretty good um so this morning's been kind of lazy i'm super tired but i'm awake whoa uh hung out with the dogs took dogs outside had to give riddler an emergency bath because he decided to roll in cat poop and since i didn't want to take him inside to stink up the whole house i gave him a bath outside with a garden hose he got really mad at me. <laughs> Managed to slip out of his collar when I was trying to rinse the soap off. So, I kind of tortured him a little bit. I got his old Barney, Barney, body harness. It doesn't fit around his stomach very well. It's kind of tight. So, I put that on him. Knowing he could not escape with it on. And then, of course, as soon as I finished rinsing the soap off, I released it and off he went. He was mad at me, but I got the cat poop smell off of him, because that was gross. I'm so glad Amarel has not rolled. Hold on, I got a knock on wood for that one. He better not learn to roll and poop. Ugh. Um, so today is going to be a little bit of a special day. I'm a little bit nervous about it, but kind of excited. So, my brother and I, we're going to go to Panda for lunch. And I thought, why not make this a bit of an outing experience for Emerel? I want to take him to Petco, which is a place he's been to before. Kind of like, let him chill, say hi to dogs, say hi to people, whatever. And then I want to try him out at Panda. He will be in outside the restaurant, obviously. He cannot go in yet. He's not ready. But I want to see what he would do at a restaurant for the first time. And I've already talked with Tyler, planning that like if he gets really overwhelmed and can't do it, then we are immediately packing our stuff and going home. So we have an escape plan already figured out. And of course, I'm going to be bringing him water and packing a little bag for him. We're just going to see how today goes. I'm nervous, but I'm looking forward to it. I mean, of course, he's going to have his vest on. And then I just got into contact with a woman that I know who makes collars. She had this beautiful service dog collar at the Chattanooga Market, but it was neon yellow. Like, it has a ribbon on it that says service dog, and it has a, and it's on top of a different color collar. The collar she had was neon yellow. And I've asked her to create for me a red one to match with the rest of MRL's, um gear. Plus, eventually I'd like to get him a vest that's black, so red I think would look better. Plus, I just like red. So I'm trying to get in contact with her, because she said something about coming by her house eventually. And I don't remember where she lives, actually. Huh. Uh, so I'm waiting to hear from her and then I'm supposed to also hear from the doctor today about my results from my blood work so it's just gonna be an interesting day and I hope I don't traumatize MRL but I mean he sat with us before at table like at the dinner table he likes to lay beside me or lay under my feet I've not taught him the command under yet but since we're gonna be outside I figured you know we'll just get a space that's not as close to the sun and just let him kind of splay out because I mean it's his first experience ever at a restaurant and yes guys I am fully aware because I know some people are gonna be like oh my god you shouldn't be taking him to a restaurant because he's a service dog in training <laughs> one yes I'm aware of that I am aware my dog is still in training he's not even a year old yet so shush another thing is I know that dogs are allowed to eat outside well, know that we're allowed to have a dog outside when we eat. I'm not dogs eating outside. He's not going to eat any of the food there. No, absolutely not. Even if he wasn't a service dog, Chinese food is bad for dogs. Probably bad for us too, but you know. <laughs> and I do know my dog's limits. If I feel like he's getting stressed out, my brother and I already have the plans to pack up and go home. So that's also why I'm taking him to, to Petco first. 
because I know it's a place he's been to and I felt like he could probably like settle down a little bit maybe chill um, or at least if anything meet some friends meet some dogs that kind of thing so and of course he will have his vest on especially when we're out at the restaurant that's gonna be super duper important I have let people pet him with his vest on if I give permission like most people won't approach him until I'm like do you want to pet him because I'm adding on to the socializing for him which he does well with pretty much anybody um he even was by a like when we went to Lowe's I think a couple months ago he actually met a woman in one of those electric wheelchairs and he was perfectly fine with it. He sniffed it like, whoa, what is this thing? But he was perfectly fine with it. So this is going to be an interesting experience for the little boy. And I think it'll go pretty good. What does pumpkin and cinnamon dog treat taste like? Pumpkin and cinnamon. Hi, buddy. See, we're at the Petco where mommy works. And we're doing so good. That when we see the door, we want to pull. Are we working on our loose leash heel, bud? <laughs> Come. Yes, what good boy. What do you think? We already went by the pharmacy drive through Let me sniff the cat treat, the cat toys. Now we're just going to take a little stroll. Work on our loose leash. Maybe so we already made a doggy friend, didn't we, buddy? Let him have some time to sniff because, I mean, he's a puppy. Puppies like to sniff at things. And, yeah, that's our adventure at the moment. So, uh, here we are at Petco. I'm basically uh, telling everyone what's going on for Ray because she's busy training. And here they are. Say hi, Ray. Hi. Sit. Sit. Uh-uh. No, sir. I know, the ferrets are really exciting. Come here, sit. Sit. There you go. Oh, he'll do it for a <laughs> lamb lung. Stay. Stay. <laughs> sit. Stay. Come. Sit. Sit. Place. 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 I know. This one's hard for you. Place. Yes. Stay. I, I know. Downstairs are really hard, aren't they? Sit. Sit. Sit, sit, sit. Yay. Place. Nope, you got a place, buddy. Stay. Nope. Stay. Become the loaf. Come here. Good. Now you heard the intercom. Good boy. All right, Tyler, release your foot. Come around. Come. Yay! Good boy. He's so good. Yeah, we're so good. I am so happy. This is like the most happiest thing I've ever seen. Hey guys, there's Riddler. There's Sassy. Excuse you. And there's the big boy, Emeril! Yay! <laughs> and he's found the bag that has a couple of surprises in there for them. We're about to check them in a minute, aren't we? Emeril, ah, leave it. So, public outing was a success! Yay! We were out for like up to two hours, I think. Um, one hour of that was spent at Petco doing training. He got to say hi to some people. He got to be introduced to a cane. He had never really experienced canes before. Um, we did training... Worked on loose leash heel. He, his heel is getting better. He needs to not pull on the leash as often, but he's working on it. Um, and then we went to Panda Express for lunch. Emeril and I sat outside while my brother went in. I had some water for him. Of course, he was nervous because it was more like new sounds and smells. Honking cars kind of scared him a little bit. Riddler is trying to go up to the treat bag. Ah, Riddler. So, yeah. So the other hour was part of it at Panda Express, and then part of it coming home. So, yay, I am so proud of Emeril. He did so good. I'm so proud of you, baby boy. And yeah, did we get a couple of surprises? 
Did we get treats? Did we get a toy? We did? All right, now I'm about to show you guys. So, I got him a treat and a toy for how good he was. Got, of course, blue buffalo blue bits. These are like training bits. And of course, I'll go through the blue buffalo spiel. There's no corn, wheat, or soy. These have like good grains like rice and oatmeal. And this one probably has, yep, brown rice and oatmeal. Hey, what you know. Um, chicken, deboned chicken is the first ingredient. Meat will always be the first ingredient in these. Um, and these, since they're designed for puppies, have DHA in it to support cognitive development. Yay! And these have a very strong chicken smell. I never knew that. But the boys love it. I don't know how Sassy feels about it. Oops, sorry, girl. We're going to put it over there. And then show our toy. It is a new puzzle toy. It's a cute little monster. So you shove the treats in there. And they have to figure out how to get it out of here. So I'm about to put some of their training treats in there and see what happens. All right, let's give it a shot. Figure it out, guys. How do you get it out? They're usually really good at figuring out puzzles. Sometimes I have to show them once, but I'm pretty sure they could figure this one out. They're pretty good at rolling things around, so we'll just see what happens. Hey guys, there's Sassy Girl. And there's my two beautiful boys sleeping on my bed. So right now I am watching Black Swan. I saw a list from The Mighty, and if you guys don't follow The Mighty, you need to. They are awesome. About like top 10 movies that depict mental illness. And I'm always interested in finding films about mental illness. Though there's not enough about anxiety, I will tell you that much. The majority of the ones I see are about depression, which of course, that's very important. Duh. Um... Well, Black Swan was on there, and I knew definitely with Black Swan, there's stuff about eating disorders. You could tell there's anxiety in there, but the main thing it was talking about was schizophrenia. So I'm like, okay, so I'm watching it now. Only downside is like, I guess it's, my mind's kind of zoning out to like, other things. Um, it started with me getting a message from my ex, from... I know I've never talked much about him. We broke up about three and a half years ago. Um, he messaged me basically wanting to apologize and hoping we could rekindle a friendship. And that just brought my mood. Because there are memories associated with that relationship that I do not want. And that relationship also has screwed up my view of relationships. It's where I fear ever being with somebody. Because I fear like, you know, going back into that stage of being in love and happy and feeling safe and just having it all ripped out from under you again. That absolutely terrifies me. And of course, I know one day that won't happen. I mean, I'd love to be in a relationship with someone. I'd love to be able to, you know, be in love again and, you know, find the one. But, I mean, with how that relationship went and now knowing that there was anxiety involved because... Now I realized that my anxiety was a huge part of that relationship too. I was very anxious about how should I act, how should I, what should I wear, how should I eat, blah blah blah. It wasn't anything he put on me, that was what I put on myself. So, oh lord. And now I'm like, I'm feeling like I'm being a little personal with you guys, but you know, sometimes that happens. And let's be real. I want to share with you guys my experiences with mental illness. And that also involves being real about things. So, yeah, welcome to this. Uh, and then my mind went into, I texted three of my friends about this situation. And, on, and in my mind, only one of them seemed to care the most. All three of them responded. But only one of them seemed to actually care about how I was feeling about it. One was just like, okay, is that a bad thing? Is that a good thing? One was like, 
you did. One asked if I gave him another chance. It was like, good, you stuck to your standards. And then one actually cared about my feelings, knowing that I was upset about it. So then my brain went to thinking, your friends don't care that much about you. Especially I've had some friends who have been extremely busy lately, so of course my mind's going to go into that even though I know my friends are busy. They have lives. Duh. Um, and then my mind went into another course of like knowing that I've gained weight lately and of course spiraling into thoughts about really bad eating habits and then how I get anxious over certain eating habits and just ugh so much going on. I feel like I'm blushing right now because this is something that I don't really talk about with people but I'm going to share with mostly strangers on the internet. I say mostly just because there's some of you I have not really talked to yet so if you're new, hi! My name is Raven and I'm telling you personal stuff tonight. <laughs> so my mind is just spiraling into all sorts of weird negative things so I wanted to try to bring it back to a normal place, even though I'm watching Black Swan, but so far I'm really liking this movie. Um, I'm with my doggos, I'm on Tumblr, because I know Tumblr is a lot of positive things that I often reblog to pressing the panic buttons Tumblr, which, yes, I do have a Tumblr. Not a lot of people follow it, that's okay. So if you ever want to see, like, when I actually repost things, I repost a lot of, like, positivity things or real things. Then you know, you can follow me on it. I'm also on Instagram and Facebook. Woo! And Twitter. So if you want to follow me and know what the heck I'm doing, I guess, then go for it. So, yeah. I don't know why I just let all that out. Um, I guess I just felt like I had to release it to somebody. And why not release it to you guys to help benefit you? Because I know that's a big thing that I personally like. I love helping you guys. That's why I created my vlog. I wanted to, you know, for you guys who feel really isolated in your mental illnesses or whatever weird thoughts you have or you're like, oh my gosh, no one else feels the way I do. I want to help you. I want you to feel like you're not alone. Because I've been down that road too. And sometimes I still feel that way. Where I'm like, no one else thinks these weird things. And then I learn, oh yeah, there are people who think these weird things, so. Yeah, sometimes I get a little too real, a little weird, but. I mean, we're all weird, aren't we? So now, with all of that, I'm going to set off for the night and head off to bed after watching my movie. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've had a wonderful day or night, rain or shine, whether, whatever, blue, whatever the world has for you today. Question of the day, if you are new, please in the comments below, like, tell me something like, you know, your name, things you like. Do you like peanut butter? I don't know. I want to get to know you guys. And of course, all of my folks who have been around for a while, please introduce yourselves to all the new people so we can all get to know each other and be good. Yay, so introductions down below and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Good night, Sassy. Good night, Emerald. Good night, Riddler's butt. Wait, nope, there's Riddler. Good night, buddy.